Welcome Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for January 20th through the 26th. Sagittarius, you're starting out to read with the Five of Cups. This is having some regret about a decision that ended something. Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hey guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Uh, please keep in mind that all readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. You can also reach me at quartzrosetarot at gmail.com and visit my website at quartzrosetarot.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this and see where it goes. Sagittarius, you're starting off with the Five of Cups. This is about regretting somebody or missing somebody, but it had to do with this decision. You were at a crossroads that you made a decision. You got um, Cancer, Pis Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. So you have... Um, Somebody felt backstabbed, but you made a decision to end something in a relationship. You you decided to end a relationship, and you're regretting ending this relationship. You're regretting it. You're feeling you're feeling very guarded and defensive. You're coming in as this King of Cups. This is somebody you know could have been drinking a lot. Um, this is my alcoholic card, but I mean. He's always got a drink in his hands, what I'm saying. So he's very intuitive. He's very um, in his emotions. He's gaining perspective about this relationship with the hangman here. Gaining the perspective. There were secrets here. Gaining perspective about secrets. There were some secrets here. There's things that happened under the veil of darkness that nobody knows about here. This is Pisces and Cancer. You've got a lot of water signs on, on the board here, Sagittarius. And you have you right here with the um, Stripe, Jealousy, and Competition with Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And it's sitting next to you. So you were the one putting somebody in a, a competition, and you ended a relationship because of it. You are being a player. You have the player card, the Knight of Wands. You are in and out. You're gaining perspective on the secrets. You know, the secret relationships is what it looks like. The secrets about the competition and, and strife and jealousy that caused the burdens. You got burdens here. This Knight of Wands caused some burdens here. It's right in the center of the read. So this was about the burdens in this relationship that you regret ending this relationship because you were being a player and there's some secrets here. But someone shed some light on this. You have the hermit card here with Virgo. Shed some light on you being a... So the truth came out. You have, you have the, the, the knight of swords here. The truth came out. Someone shed the light on this, you being a player. And it caused the relationship to end, but you're regretting. You made a decision, and you made this decision to to do what you were doing, and it caused an ending because the truth came out. Someone got justice here. Someone got justice because the truth came out about this burden, and they want to move that conflict from calm waters, I mean, from rough waters to calm waters, getting the justice and moving the conflict from rough waters to calm waters. Now, you have the high priestess. This is somebody that's not speaking to you. This is somebody who is the keeper of the secrets. You've got secrets and the keeper of the secrets. But this is a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio as well. This person is not talking to you. They're using their intuition. This could be an awakening. You've got the high priestess sitting next to the hermit card, shedding some light, going within, shedding some light, using their intuition. And this, this is an evenly yoked couple here. The king and the queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You probably are dealing with a water sign here. Now, this person is extremely intuitive, and she's the one that got the justice here. She's the one using her intuition, and she sheds a light on it. She busted you. She busted you with the competition. 
it ended the relationship. Now you're regretting it because you made poor choices. She's overcoming these obstacles. She's defending herself, standing her ground, but she's watching from a distance. She's spying on you. There's some spying going on. Either you're spying on her or she's spying on you. But tarot, keep in mind, is a way of spying. So, you know, using that intuition and spying, you know, she's watching it. Maybe she saw you. She saw you on social media. She was watching. She was spying on you, and the truth came out through social media. Or, yeah, that's how she caught you. She got justice because she was spying on you, and that's how she caught you, possibly. It's not going to be that for everybody, but this person could have been watching you, watching you at work, could have been watching you um, driving by your house, possibly. She's using her intuition. She's not stupid. She's overcoming this because she was spying on it. And the wheel turned. But you are a fated couple. You are a couple here. You're you're evenly yoked. This is fate. Either trying to gain balance or because there was juggling. This all had to do with something fated because of the juggling. But you're having a lot of regret, Sagittarius, because of the choices that you made that caused a lot of burden. You It caused an ending to a relationship, your relationship with her, because of your, uh, uh, being a player and the strife and jealousy. Under the bottom of the deck, you're coming in slowly as the knight of coin. This is taking you a, lot of t a long time, but you'll get there. This is the only knight that crosses the finish line. He's bringing something stable that she can depend on. You want to reconcile this with the judgment card. You want to apologize with the page of coin. You want to reconcile and apologize and work on something. You have the three of coin, collaborate. This could be about a third party, but with these two cards, this is about working and collaborating. You're up in your head. You could be at a distance from this person. Um, you have the, the three swords above your head and the sword of truth in your hand, so you're trying to recover from a heartbreak you're having regret about. You want a victory here with the six of wands you're having strength with the the uh, strength card this is leo for a relationship this is a foundation celebration a found you know this is about a relationship you need strength in this relationship to move forward you need strength in this relationship to move forward you need to come in you're coming in slowly you need to pet you need to hit that horse on the ass and get him to move a little quicker because this is the slowest moving night in the deck. You're taking your sweet time about it. So, however this resonates with you, Sagittarius, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.